Last week saw some teachers gone strike paralyzing learning in institutions as teachers push for better terms. It is a worrying development for parents with children in school. However, for those who have adopted homeschooling, they have nothing to worry about. It is a form of learning that has for many uh, times been alien to Kenyans. However, the home-based education is gaining popularity fast. Currently, there are at least 50 homeschools in Nairobi alone and the number is growing. Our reporter Najma Ismail visited one family that has adopted this form of education to find out what it is all about. Whenever you hear the word learning, what comes to mind is a formal setting complete with classes, a playground and teachers' quarters. However, a new phenomenon is catching up fast in Kenya. Homeschooling is the education of children at home done by parents or by tutors. Diti Olawale is a Nigerian missionary in Kenya who has chosen to take the homeschooling route. His wife, Wale, acts as the tutor to their two daughters. What we are learning here is that God takes care of everything. She says a typical school day for them starts at 6.30 a.m. The girls are expected to do their personal devotion, which is prayers at that time, then have breakfast later on, and then head to class, which is in their living room, at 8.30 a.m. sharp. They then have an opening activity, which includes pledging allegiance to the Bible, Christianity, and also singing the national anthem. I check their goals for the day to be sure that they set goals that they can accomplish for the day. I look through the paces in case there is something for the supervisor to sign and somebody has not given me to sign, just to make sure that the work is thorough, okay? If there are gaps that they have left, maybe you are supposed to write uh, four sentences, but you wrote two and left two. So I, I, I get them to do all of that. And if you're wondering about homework, indeed they also get to have homework. And what happens if one does not complete their homework? If homework has not been done, there is something we call demerits. A child gets demerits, and no child wants demerits, because at the end of the term, when you are counting all the merits you have, there, is, there, there are rewards that goes with it. So if you have more of the merits, it reduces what reward. The syllabus Olawale's family is using is called the Accelerated Christian Education. However, there are other syllabuses that are available for homeschooling in Kenya. The homeschool share the same schedule and term timetable as other public or private schools in the country. They have the three school terms and also go on half term. They have tea breaks at around 10 a.m. and lunch break at 1 p.m. and their classes end at 5 p.m. in the evening. Several homeschools regularly get together and have different activities where the children get to interact and if they are required to do practical learning, they visit public or private schools to be able to use their facilities. Olawale explains how friendly this method is to his pockets. Because sometimes some people thought the reason why some parents opt for homeschooling is because they don't want to pay fees or they cannot afford fees. But actually, at the end of the day, it's expensive. But for example, that science package I was talking about, the video and all that, sometimes it can cost as much as 30,000 Kenyan shillings. Well, there you have it. Homeschooling is not just limited to missionaries. Any family in Kenya can homeschool. But first, you have to go through a certain training. Najma Ismail, KTN.